Diddy got arrested yesterday. Finally. <laughs> Fine, I ain't gonna lie. They should have been caught him, bro. Bro, isn't he like facing um like racketeering? Racketeering, yes. Was it, I think human trafficking too? Human, let me see. There's a list. There's a whole lot, bro. There's a list, and they, I think they denied bail too because yeah, it's not they getting did deny out. bail. Yeah, they <laughs> did deny bail. I think out. for this was the second time. Yes, the, second time. the first time I think he had bail and he bailed himself out. Yeah. So this time he's like, nah, you ain't getting you getting away yeah, with he's this, buddy. Facing Life in prison for racketeering, sex trafficking, maximum maximum life in prison, prison, minimum fifteen years, transportation force, po- prostitution. What is that? Transportation. I think that's prost- mo- I think that's oh, moving, the, moving girls the girls to the crib yeah, for the, yeah. the. I mean, this stuff is bro. You about know, they, they said they, they had maximum ten years. Oh, ma- oh, maximum for, or for minimum for, ten years? No, maximum ten years for uh, transportation. Oh, for really? Yeah, oh my bro. gosh! So, but okay. Uh, wait, wait, what was you gonna say? No, I was gonna say they had they got all the the footage from the di- from the freak offs, bro. Oh, they got footage. Yeah, they got all the footage from all the uh, they have. Did you know they went to his crib, found thousands of baby loaf, yes. baby oil. <laughs> <laughs> what dude? What are niggas buying that many that much baby oil for? Bro. I know, but that is crazy imagine imagine you're the police officer and you find that yo like it's like bro like <laughs> a thousand bottles a thousand bro a baby oil is a little bigger than this it's, so imagine yeah, a thousand yeah, of these things yeah, bro. bro that's he had that's that what that nigga deck, spent his bread on nah what was baby going on oil. what was going on nah like what else you need baby oil okay for? i know it's a freak off though they said it's a freak they said it's one-on-ones bro like they, they fighting but i'm thinking like but fighting. i'm thinking butt naked fighting hell maybe maybe the butt <laughs> naked fighting or nigga fucking <laughs> mad niggas bro <laughs> and nigga the baby oil bro, no, bro no. seriously bro that's sick bro seriously and thousands I, yeah yo imagine being the fucking uh, delivery j- driver thinking <laughs> <laughs> just thousands of baby I just know. hundreds of baby oil that's sick bro like you gotta send it to that nigga crib like and you know what I heard too they, so how they got him was they got they, they got his like assistants and like security guards and they'll take him in and be like yo you're facing like 30 years whatever oh, so they for conspiracy like, with them so if you don't tell us where you at <laughs> we gonna you gonna get arrested oh basically they, they put him they, they they hit him with the um uh what's that thing? What snitching? No, like the uh being a accomplice. Oh yeah, to, yeah, yeah. To, okay. Accomplice okay. to the crime, bro. Mm. Because because think about it. Who you think getting that baby oil? Did he buy yo yeah them? It <laughs> has to be them. get the baby oil. You know you, that is thousands of baby oil. That's a, that's and a he had like like three ARs too, bro. Oh really? Yeah, he had, yeah, gun. Yeah, oh, he had some shit man, in there too. Bro. He had like mad, like. You think it was thousands of baby oil in all of his houses or per house? Like how many houses did they raid? I was thinking. I thought it was like three. Oh, it was. I know. Nah, I know. It has to be than than a collective. It can be just in one house. Because I know he had a crib in Miami, and then I think he has a crib around here, and then in LA, I think. Or he sold. I think he has a bunch, but I know there was one in Miami. That's. I think that was the main one that they raided. So that might have been where the that means that's he, probably where the baby oil at. <laughs> bro, Miami, that means he bro. has a room full of baby like a, this room filled with baby oil, bro. Yeah, that's some freaky stuff, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I don't want to even. Nah, there's a little bit of me that's nah, like intrigued yeah. of what was going on. There has to you gay. No, <laughs> there has to be. There has to be. Nah, if he needs that much baby oil, <laughs> then what's been going on day to day? That's what I'm that saying. You need that much. I mean, I understand that. First of all, they gotta bring. They gotta. Who who's the niggas that be going to the to the shit too? I don't bro? know who's going they, to. They need they need to air them niggas out too, <laughs> bro. Because I need to know that if y'all niggas watching grown men or whatever the case may be, uh huh, sliding around in baby oil. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Uh, in a party. That's what I'm saying. Know. Y'all need to be aired out too. Y'all niggas some freak ass niggas, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It be, it be the fucking. It be the fucking. It be old the low, The old. Yeah, it do be the old it be ones. The old niggas, bro. The old white boy. It old be the white, old niggas. The bro. old white. Uh, the the rich governors, niggas, bro. Yep. The rich ones. The politicians. The politicians. Yep. Yep. They be the weird ones, bro. They be the weird ones. Cause you know why they don't be getting no ass at home. Yeah, that, yeah. So, so, so did he like, be like, yo, mad freaky, bro? They did he be like, yo, I'll give you, I'll give you one of these girls, but you gotta do this for me. And then oh, him, that's OD. That's wild, though. I ain't gonna lie, though. Do you think his kids knew? Mm. 
Like, do nah. you think he hid it from his kids? Like, yeah, he has to. But like, unless he was a, just a bold ass nigga, and said, he told hey, him, this is, what, <laughs> "This is what I'm. This is what daddy did. <laughs> <laughs> this is what daddy did." You know, into. you, 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 because somebody I, had to have found that baby, y'all. Like, like so, his, one of his kids. Yeah, be like, Dad, why'd you go this baby off from? Unless he got a secret compartment. Unless he got a secret compartment. <laughs> but if he doesn't, then this, that's crazy. This has, but like, yo. it's like, as a man, bro, when you're doing something that crazy, exactly, you don't want your kids to look at you differently. Exactly. If you give a fuck. Yeah, if you do care. If you care. But Diddy, but like, I feel like Diddy's the one that don't care. Yeah, right. He like, seems he, like he, he don't seems care. Like, he seems like he's like, this is what I do. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? But like, he was so, I mean, if he didn't care, he wouldn't, nah, I don't know. It's because weird, he, bro. Because if, if, if he didn't care, I, I'd say like, he wouldn't like, tell keep, him? Like, no, it's not like he wouldn't tell him, but he wouldn't like, if the like the public would have known, like he would have oh. told the public too, like. But then again, too, that's, that's his wild. Career, that's his career, and yeah, he probably cares more about his career than. And he than was like, drugging them though. Like I heard drugging who? I heard he was drugging a couple of the people to do it. Like the people, some of the people weren't doing that from their free will. You know that, right? No, nah, I didn't know that. Because there was a there was a producer that came out that sued him before that he said <laughs> he said he went to the Diddy, one of his parties and he blacked out and he said he woke up in a bed next to Diddy, bro. Nah, you lie. I'm dead serious, bro. He said he wo- he blacked out and woke up next to bed with like there was a bunch of girls, oh, needs- and Diddy was laying there knocked out. But it was a bunch of girls around him too, I guess. But I guess Diddy because they they also said Diddy be walking on like his um security guards and his people. They have fanny packs full of like drugs and stuff. So they be like, Yo, what you want? I got perks. I got my. I got all this stuff. And sometimes they go around like you know the girls and stuff. They be roofing. Yes, bro. Like that, bro. Like, yeah, bro. And then that's what that's what Diddy. That's why Diddy records it so he can use it as blackmail. So he gets the politicians. He'll be like, he'll get them real drunk, get them real high, and then be like, oh, come to the room, come to the room. I got a girl for you. Bring him up with a girl. And now they doing. They not even in the right state of mind. They doing whatever. And then he got on film. Mm. So now. After after that next day, Diddy would be like, he'd be like, they'd be like, oh, what happened? And then he'll show them the footage. He'd be like, okay, now you work for me. Whatever mm. I want in the state of New York, you gotta let it slide now. Mm. So that's how he got so much power, bro. That's how he got that damn key. Yeah, that uh, time. I'm saying, bro. He probably got that politician, <laughs> bro. <laughs> that he got probably, the governor. Because what the fuck is Diddy having to? Get, what? Why? Why? Because I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like Diddy, like. We only knew Diddy because of like in the music industry. Yeah. Like he really wasn't big on I don't think he really that was big on like the philanthropy and like being one with the community. Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah, really yeah. see him with that. Yeah, I just yeah, seen him as a celebrity. Yeah, as a, yeah, and I didn't even know what he did for real. Yeah, me neither. Like I like I knew he made a couple songs. Yeah. I, I, I honestly, I only know one Diddy song. And it was last night with Keisha Cole. Yeah, I get it, dick. Yeah, that, you feel That's me? what I'm saying. That's the that only was one. the only Diddy song that I know. And everything and I knew, else and everything else I knew, oh. If if it was Diddy, um, I had to put Biggie right exactly. Next to yep, it. yep. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But everything else, I didn't know what he did. Uh, maybe I thought I he was an actor. I also did. thought he was an actor. And uh, I think he was in. Mon- I think you know he wasn't. But is that being an actor? How many how many movies? Are there? How, it had how many to have been less than five. That's what I'm saying. It is wasn't that a being lot. an actor. Dude? Nah, I think he was more like a cameo. Like you know how D- right. you know how DJ Khaled being like random movies. Right, it was like that. Yeah, I, I feel like that. Don't, that don't I don't count. think that counts. So that's why I'm like, either either Biggie or like Mace. Yeah, and you feel me? But yeah. like, come on, bro. Like everything that's else, the only thing that I knew about him. So that's I was like, so I was like, yo, when I Google this network, I'm like, yo, how is this nigga this rich? Like exactly. You feel me? Like <laughs> his one of his main like, artists freaking died. Right. I don't think he like he wasn't with he I mean was, he probably benefited greatly when he died after he died. But like, but like not that but, not, much, but would it be that much, yo? That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know if he owns anything. Like he might he might own some things like stocks and stuff. Or so that might be the thing, but like nothing that I know of. Like I'll have to look through Yeah, like, it's probably like, yeah, yeah, like something. Like um to get the something big to get something yeah something something behind the scenes mm-hmm. like it can't be like it wouldn't be up front I doubt it would be some up front to that shows oh yeah this nigga's making bread yeah but like I'm like yo how's this nigga this rich yeah but like I know how Jay Z's rich yeah because he got Rock you know Nation I mean? he makes the rock, music nigga make music nigga nigga uh part nigga uh part owner of you mad feel stuff me? mad yeah. stuff shit so I'm like yo this nigga okay that makes sense it's it's, it's there yeah you can see it mm-hmm. but Diddy I never knew 
I never understood, bro. So, I mean, um, it said uh, the the boss. Uh, I don't know if he was a boss, but like the person that because some people like I don't know one of the bodyguards. Um, yeah, what's his name? He was a former bodyguard. He was like, yo, Diddy was never like this. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, seriously, seriously. He's like, he's like, you didn't come to the game like this. You feel me? But like, there was this. Uh, I forgot what his name was, but he, he was like, I, I guess a music, like, a, like an type. artist. Yeah. yeah, no, he oh, was an artist. He, he was, was like in the industry. Yeah, though. one of the white niggas. You know, the uh, white people behind the scenes that making mad bread. Off yeah, of yeah, yeah. You feel me? And he was like, I guess that's what Diddy is. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But like, he was like, once him and Diddy, you know, started working together because he, I guess he's the one who showed Diddy all the ropes. Yeah, like, yeah. You know. Once him and Diddy started working together, you know, shit, like... He started getting weird. He started acting weird. He started, (laughs) like, you know, that guy, you know, has been, you know, they was, uh, like... Together all the time? Together all the time. And there was, uh, like, um, rumors about that nigga, that white nigga, like, being with minors and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that shit, like... Did he probably, you know, that rubbed off on him? Yeah, because you know, shit, you know, you know like, he was going to them little Swedish massage. What, what was that thing called? The the little hot massages. Yeah, he was going to them things. Yeah, with I'm the telling rich you, white bro, people. Yo, them 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 old rich white people, white people, bro. They be the movie. Them boy. niggas be wilding. Yeah, them <laughs> niggas be wilding. Like because like I don't get it. I'm though. telling you, bro. It be the weirdos that become rich. They be, because I'm telling. Yeah, it be the weirdo. Exactly. Yeah, it be the weirdos that become rich because it's like. Them niggas be like, they they probably married to that one person for twenty something years or thirty years or whatever the case may be, and they're rich. Yeah, they can't be with one person by <laughs> you feel me. But like, first of all, I don't, I, I never understood like going for the kids. That's no. just crazy. As <laughs> that's far. old. Like, that's there's there's OD, no excuse. Like, for there's that. no excuse for that. But like, they just be so. Undeniably horny. Yeah, I guess. I'm like, like they dang. just be tweaking, like they be wallets. So it's like, I, I never understood that shit, bro. Like, and you know what it is, bro. And it's like a lot of the rich old people. That's what, those are the people that be like the sugar daddies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. I'm like, dang. Like, where's your wife at? You don't got no bro, wife, no they, friends. Oh, you know, like, I guess you know, that's sick, they're not bro. getting none. I know that you know the the wives the wives like they they they're cool with just not like just being a wife yeah and not they they don't think oh they they probably think like you know they've had sex we've had sex plenty of times and then <laughs> third throughout our years being together like yeah you know you know it's time to chill out or whatever I know <laughs> but, but like, niggas be wanting more <laughs> I don't get it though like they they like 80 60 70 that junk still work they, they probably don't but they, <laughs> they be still horny? be the feeling bro they need more bro nah, they, that's they, so they, bad like, bro 50 years of, of sexual activity with that one person isn't isn't enough bro that's sick they bro. be old and just horny bro nah that's so bad as bro. Niggas, yeah, I, I can't be like that if i'm if, when i'm older bro <laughs> oh that's a whole old ass or horny nigga bro. <laughs> i just I, 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 I can't be i hope i'm not like that nah, bro. bro i can't be like that there's bro. no way bro but like yeah bro they just have no like no control know, bro. no control bro and then they put people like diddy to bring the to bring bring, the, to, bring yeah. them around but it's like okay now right with the whole diddy thing so how long you think he's going to life? Nah, you don't think so. You think he's gonna Honestly, find a way out, bro? I, I think he's gonna find a way out, or not a way out, but a way. Well, not a way out, but a way to like get less. Get less, bro. Yeah. It's not. I don't think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be less than fifteen years. Like how long R. Kelly got? Twenty? Does he? I, I know. I know it's not. He's not gonna get out anytime soon. Like we're gonna be type old when he come out. So really? he might be like. I don't think it's like eight. It's like I know it's over ten, over oh, okay. ten. So he's in there for a minute. So like maybe. But I Diddy think, been tweaking. Yes, bro. R Kelly be tweaking, but like. But not Diddy, Diddy level. Tweaking, like R Kelly's here. Diddy's like. Diddy, Diddy, yeah, Diddy's like on some Epstein you know, level. On thing. some Epstein level and like murder and shit like that. Yeah, with the Tupac so like, thing. You seen yeah. that that guy? The guy that killed Tupac said that Diddy paid him. Yeah, uh, Keefe D. Mm-hmm. But like yeah, people think he, people think he lying just he so lying, he can get yeah, to, to say. But like. Why is there a reason for him to lie? I don't know. Exactly. I go ready to go get it. I go ready to go get it. I 
Go, go, run, go, go.